Hello friends, welcome to this online lecture. This is lecture number 3 of sugar industry. In the last lecture, we discussed about steps involved in the manufacture of sugar from sugar cane, where we discussed about three different steps involved in the manufacture of sugar, that is raw materials, extraction of juice and purification of juice or clarification of juice are we explained in the last lecture. In this video lecture, we are going to study some other steps involved in the manufacture of sugar from sugar cane that is concentration of the juice and second crystallization of juice, centrifugation of the juice and finally drying and packaging of the sugar. So these are the steps which we are going to see in this lecture. As we know that the when uh, from the raw material extraction of juice which is extracted from the raw materials once the juice was extracted and sent towards the purification that is clarification step where in the clarification step or purification of the juice the uh, impurities which are removed and the raw sugar is converted into the white sugar by means of clarification of juice or by means of sulfitation or carbo carbonation of the juice after the clarified juice which is obtained from the clarification method is prepared for the concentration process. It means very simple what is the concentration of juice? Concentration of juice is nothing but the evaporation of the water molecules as we know that the juice contains that is sugar, sugar cane juice contains 70 to 75 percent of the water and remaining percent of the sugar that is sucrose where the sucrose or sugar can be uh, crystallized by means of concentration of the juice. The juice obtained from the clarification process which are prepared for the concentration process means the thick syrup which is white sugar syrup is pumped into initially multi effect vacuum evaporator which is known as the multi effect vacuum evaporator crystallization. Here we can see the picture here approximately 4 to 5 different multi uh, multi effect evaporators are connected in a serial connected in a sequence here we can see first effect second effect third effect fourth effect and the fifth effect likewise it is called as a multi effect evaporator which means more than two effect are there therefore it is called as a multi effect where the thick syrup from the clarified juice pumped into the multi effect evaporator here the juice is in this multi effect evaporator the juice is concentrated under reduced pressure to get clear heavy syrup containing 65 percent of the solid crystals where you can see the juice uh, which is passed through first evaporator second evaporator third evaporator fourth evaporator and the fifth evaporator at the end of the fifth evaporator we can get 65 percent of the solid crystal that is solid semi crystals here you can see one more thing is that the temperature of the first evaporator is highest than others while the pressure is lowest in order to achieve the maximum economy it means in the first first effect evaporator temperature is high but the pressure is low as we increasing from left to right the temperature is decreases and the pressure is increases at the end you will get the 65% uh, of the solid crystals so this is the here the exactly picture which is taken from the sugar industry where the concentrated juice is removed from the last evaporator here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 likewise sometimes 4 or 5 multi effect evaporator can be used for the concentration of the juice at the end of the last evaporator the concentrated juice is removed from the last evaporator here you can see from the pictures the different series of the multi effect evaporator can be seen next crystallization of juice from the evaporation that is single effect evaporator here we can see the single effect evaporator previously we studied the steps of the that is multi effect evaporator now this is the single effect evaporator once the 65 percent of the crystal that is crystal sugar that is thick juice further concentrated by heating in a single effect evaporator called as the vacuum pan here again the 65 percent of the semi solid or the crystals containing the juice of 65 percent further pumped into the single effect evaporator that is called as the vacuum pan. Here 
the in the single effect evaporator there are four stages of the crystallization can be you can see here seeding or graining establishing the seeds growth of crystals and the concentration so once everything the, all these steps are you can see in the single effect evaporator the crystallization of sucrose in a vacuum pan is called as sugar boiling and each boiling is termed as the mesocule this is very important the crystallization of sucrose in vacuum pan is called as the boiling sugar boiling or each boiling is termed as the mesocule where the to obtain the maximum yield here we can see the vertical section the inside section of this single uh, uh, effective operator or vacuum pan here steam is there juice inlet and the juice outlet and the particularly steam and vapor of outlet will be there to obtain the maximum yield of the sugar crystallization usually carried out introducing the externally sugar crystals in the syrup to introduce the crystallization as we know that the sometimes the thick jurus thick juice or extracted juice cannot be crystallized for that purpose we have to add some sugar crystals into the same syrup where the due to this uh, so seeding due, uh, due to this external sugar of this uh, in a thick syrup the syrup becomes crystallized or the formation of the uh, crystals can be formed into the syrup because of the seeding process means the addition of external sugar into the uh, uh, sugar crystals into the syrup is known as the seeding the seed is now finely the seed is now finely pulverized and this process is known as seeding or graining as you know that the addition of external sugar crystals into this syrup where the crystals can be appear is known as the seeding or graining is there next step is centrifugation this is also very important step that is of centrifugation the sugar crystals are removed from the mother liquid by whirling in a centrifuge machine which is composed of perforated basket revolving with speed of 1200 to 1450 rpm here it is a centrifuge centrifuge machine is there where again some uh, mother liquid uh, sent into the centrifuge machine where the rotation will be takes place that is continuous rotation is, is there with speed of 1200 to 1450 rotation per minute where the mother liquid which is can be separated from the uh, that whirling of the centrifuge machine the crystals are easily separated with that the sugar crystals can be easily separated the mother liquid known as molasses drains out it can be removed out and molasses which is main by product of the sugar industry means with the help of the centrifuge machine here we can see directly uh, from the industrial here centrifuge machine is taken where this is the centrifuge machine the remaining mother liquid continuously centrifuges or with the help of the whirling with a constant uh, whirling process is there with that mother liquid is separated and the crystals are uh, crystals are separated at the bottom and they can be removed this mother liquid that is unwanted mother liquid is known as the molasses and it can be drains out and molasses which is the main by product of the sugar industry finally where this process of drying and the package here the crystals are completely dried and the, the crystals of they can elevated into the cooler and here the crystals are dried means once the uh, thick sugar which is uh, free from the water they are spreaded out and they can be dried with the help of the elevated the coolers with the help of the coolers the dried sugar crystals screened and separated in the different grades as per the size where they can be screened out maybe of a small size maybe of medium size and maybe of some other bigger size it can be packaged with it finally sugar is packaged for the market as per the size here you can see the s size for small m size for medium and l size for the large so likewise the sugar can be manufactured thank you for watching this video thank you so much if you like my video so share my channel and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for latest videos notification once again thank you so much